Picture this, it's 1920s Singapore, and you are the disenchanted wife of a British man who owns okay. several plantations. Came forward, affluent women, um, wanted to have... More wanted to day drink. Wanted to day <laughs> Singapore's upper-class ladies had a secret. They knew exactly where to go to get their needed libation. Oh man. At the time it was considered socially acceptable to drink punch in public. It needs to be the color of fruit punch. History is a bit hazy on whether these are actual facts because there's a lot of haziness too on um, what the actual ingredients are. All right, so first what we're gonna do is take our glass and fill up some ice. So this drink is gonna call for one and a half shots of gin. We do that. One and a half. So the next thing we're gonna add is a half a shot of cherry brandy or cherry hearing. Uh, any cherry liqueur could work for this. Cherry hearing, maybe people don't know what that is. It's actually just like cherry brandy. So we couldn't find Benedictine. It was a substitute. Uh, we're gonna actually use Drambuie. Uh, it should work reasonably well. It's going to be a half a shot. And the last thing is a dash of orange bitters and a dash of Angostura bitters. Excellent. All right, and then we start. I've made some clear ice. So fancy. So we're gonna take this, pour it right over top. Now you don't want to fill it up, uh, we're going to actually top this off with some soda water. <laughs> and then we're going to 